Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be remastering one of my older builds because there's been a lot of game updates that made old ways of building things kind of obsolete. So today I just want to spend a bit of time fixing up a build, re-releasing it, and then you guys can all enjoy it in all its glory. So we're going to be doing the police station, which the only way to get here is to be in the career go to work with your sim. And I thought I'd show you how to actually place a lot because I know a lot of people don't really know how to actually place the lot. So first things first, when we're here on a work day, we're gonna open up the cheat window and we type in bb.enable free build and just hit enter and it'll say it's enabled. Then up here, we can now go into build mode, which is great. That's basically the most important step. And then we're gonna open up the gallery. And in my case, I'm gonna be placing this one, which is obviously the old version. It was built 2015. So we're gonna place that in now. So here it is. Here's the good old, whoa, everyone's outside. The good old 2015 version of the police station I built. It's got a lot, a lot of stuff going on and I tried to put a lot of detail in it. These shelves are mostly empty because I remember actually, I think I did fill them all and then the game started to lag. So <laughs> I tried, tried to give it somewhat light, but overall it's mostly, there's not a lot I want to change, but one of the big things is this section in the middle. It's not actually a room. It's just a hole in the building, which means it has, yeah, this issue here where you can't even like, this day and age, the edges are just clipping through. It's supposed to be a foundation but it doesn't really work that way anymore. I also think that the receptionist doesn't always go to this desk. I think we've seen in the past. So I don't know, we'll, well, I guess we'll play test a little bit as well. But yeah, I'm going to fix this area, which the way I'm going to do that, uh, let's, oh my gosh, even these, we didn't, oh my gosh, <laughs> we didn't have half walls. So you can, this is actually foundation that I'm using. I can't believe that that actually worked. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of impressive. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just move the stuff out of the way because we basically have to build a bunch of, this has to be a room. Now all these desks are basically the same. So I'm just gonna get one of them. Ah, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move them all over here. They're just all gonna be inside of each other for a little bit, but that's okay. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna move one of them then remake the others, but you know what? We'll just move all of them. And then there's a few decorative extra boxes around the place too, which we'll just shove over there. Also, I think we had like, yeah, we had like an auditorium here too. So we'll fix this one as well. Gosh, this would be so much better with platforms. All right, so we've also got these cork boards and stuff here, but I guess I'll just get them out of the way. We can just replace those. That'll be easy enough. And then this guy here. Okay, so we've basically cleared out this space. These stairs, I think we have the same stairs over there, so I'm not too worried about cloning them. So let's just get rid of them. Get rid of all these, get rid of those. Now this, I think if I just, what if I build a floor? There you go. So now it's just part of the room. That's like the easiest part. And now we just go down one, two, three, four. Now I do think we have a problem actually though with half walls, because I don't think I can place half walls below a platform, right? Yeah, it does that, which is actually not a problem. This is kind of exactly what I had done before with the fences, as you can see. So we can just do the same thing, which actually this could be useful because as you saw, we had the um, those cork boards sort of floating in between because we couldn't get the wall any higher, but we could actually make the wall in the middle higher now. So there you go. So I'm just gonna drag this out in all of these and have this come along like that. There we go, look at this, this is beautiful. And then that was sort of up higher in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, where's my stairs? Here we go, <laughs> let's get these back in. The good thing is this will actually work way better. <laughs> like it won't be nearly as glitchy, which is like pretty exciting to be honest. Uh, I'll place that afterwards. All right, let's move all these down back into their spots. You know what? That was a lot of, that was a much easier fix than I thought it was gonna be. There's also a lot of other old builds that I've done that have like either terrain or terrain editing that I've done that I would love to fix up. So if there's any other old builds of mine that you'd like to see me try and fix, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm definitely keen to try doing that. And then we got one of these. I'm not sure where I had all this stuff, maybe over here. <laughs> I don't remember, there was just boxes around the place. This one can go here. Oh, actually I think this box is on top of that one. Yeah, it is. Let's do that. Okay, so that's all that stuff. We're gonna move this big board down here as well. And then these two decorative pieces just here and here. And then this guy, I think it was just along here somewhere, wasn't it? Like that. Sweet. All right, then the flooring, I think I actually had this down the bottom. So we'll just do that. And then I guess the walls, you know, I guess I could use this for the half walls. Oh, the other thing that will be a lot better now that this is like a prop, like a proper room instead of just like a weird glitchy setup is that the lighting is going to work better too, which, oh my gosh, we can change all these lights to the small ones, the new subtle sources that are way better because they don't take up a bajillion tiles of space. I mean, 
It's all right. It's a little bit dark down there, isn't it? <laughs> I guess because it's pretty far down. All right. I guess I'm going to go through and maybe replace the lights. Yeah, it definitely makes it better. That room's okay. Uh, just like in the hallways and stuff, we can get the smaller sources now. This doesn't block as much of a view. Now this build was originally base game and um, get to work only. So I'm gonna try and keep it that way. Like I'm not gonna add stuff from other packs, but this new light is base game, which is nice. And there's that. And then all of these lights in here as well are kind of the giant light. So why don't I just put them inside the light? You know what, that's probably a better way to do it. I'll place it inside the big light because then I can remember where they are and then I just remove the big one because it's easier to select. Yeah, <laughs> that was way easier. There we go. All right, so I think that's all the, those lights downstairs anyway. All right, and then I guess what do I want to do? Well, actually, hang on. Let me get the other stairs in here. And also let me get the railings on those. Okay, well, that's a slight sad uh, <laughs> thing. Why is it so dark? Is it because there's a wall here? No, that doesn't have a wall. I don't know if we had that wall there. Well, I guess we did, didn't we? Seems odd though. Did we just not have a wall there? Nah, I put it there, whatever. Um, not quite sure about that lighting. <laughs> so that's a bug, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, um, yeah, these half, not half walls, this foundation platform, I should say. Probably we could change to one of these in like a wood tone, or we could just do, we could do this one. This just yellowy one kind of matches the yellowy tone of everything. That's actually not too bad. Let's do that. Sort of goes with the rest of the build, all right. And then we had all these cork boards like here. Oh my gosh, I remember having to place these like manually, <laughs> like with move objects. I'm still gonna move them a little closer so they're joined, but I think I had to like raise them up and stuff and it was a whole thing, but man, this is so much easier now. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting coming back to this because stuff like this is a lot easier now as before you kind of had to figure out ways around the limitations. All right, there we go. So that's that. So this desk here, that's like a, a specific desk, I believe, right? I can't even clone it. Um, police station items. Let me have a look real quick. I don't even know where that is from, to be honest. <laughs> where? How did I even get that? Maybe it was in the original police station and I somehow got it in here. I don't know. I'm going to play test this to make sure it still works because we might have to change stuff. All right. The other big thing, at least downstairs, is this room. Um, we can easily make this into a platform area. So let's do that too. So I'm going to do the same thing, move this stuff out of the way. Uh, I'm just going to get new chairs because it'd be easier than moving each of these individually. All right. Build floor. I don't think I broke anything. Everything around it looks good still, which is handy. So then we go one, two, three, and four. And I copied the floor just over here so I could get the same flooring because <laughs> I knew it would disappear. There we are. Beautiful. Look at that already looking much better. And then we get the same stairs in around all the sides. And did I, I must have just had one stair on either side of the stage. You know what? I didn't take note of that, but I'm pretty sure I did. We also have a little fence there, which we don't really need anymore. I think that was only because I had to have it as a separate room, but I no longer have to have that, which is pretty cool. And I'll do the same sort of platform there, that sort of yellowy color. There we go. And then seating wise, I mean, we could even do like staggered seating uh, using platforms, which actually that'd be much cooler. All right, let's do that. So like the seats at the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look, I'll let me just make sure I use a fence that's uh, from get to work. I'm going to get rid of it, but it's always good to just make sure we use what's there. Uh, it's going to remove those stairs. That's OK. We'll put them back. So we're going to have this platform section there. And it's going to come along to here. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go in twos. It might be a little bit weird in the middle there, but we'll figure it out go to here. And actually, you know what? No, no, no. we'll move it forward because we've got three at the front there. So that makes it a little bit easier because if we just put three at the back because we have this coffee bar at the back too so we're going to leave three gap at the back because that will allow for the coffee station and seats then that means the middle section is the same height instead of us having to have a weird split with the stairs there and then that comes to the front okay this will make much more sense in a second here okay so at the back i guess i don't even didn't really need to fully fence it off this is going to come down like that there you go and this comes down two and then this comes down three one two and three. So then we have like the seats like coming down like this. So you get a better view. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. And then we don't actually even need stairs between these or even at the back anymore. We just need stairs probably by the stage and we should be good. Let's grab these stairs. We'll need them. Actually, I don't, we don't even need them here, but I'm going to put them here just for looks. Like, yeah, we don't, we don't even need that because it's all the same height now. Not the same height, but it's only one step. So we don't need it. Um, I guess this flooring can be that. Ah, remove this fence. Uh, these rooms are different for some reason. Build a ceiling. Now they're the same. Cool. All right. So then we can remove those little fences. We don't, we only needed those to actually do the different platform heights. Once you've got the platform heights, you can get rid of that. Easy. We'll get rid of these along here. Now, this whole room is decorative as far as I'm aware. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how I built it in the first place. So 
Don't worry too much about it. Now the steps are a little bit smaller, which is actually quite nice. Now we were using those kind of ugly chairs, which I think, didn't I put a stack of them? Yeah, I put a stack of them in here. Which is kind of cool. That was fun. Look at them all stacked up there. <laughs> I remember that took ages to do. All right, so I guess I'll, I'll use the same ones just because that's what we had. We're not here to fully like redesign my builds. We're just here to remaster it, you know, for the modern the modern era. Uh, hmm, if I'm gonna have the coffee bar at the back, the chairs actually need to be a bit further forward. So they actually need to be there. Which means I might move those ones forward to match. But then we have like a weird gap. Hmm. But hang on, let's put the coffee bar back in. <laughs> Maybe we have room. Well, if I want them to be consistent, they kind of need to be placed like this. Uh, which is kind of weird, because like, why is there a huge gap there? <laughs> or we, yeah, this, this is what I was saying before, or we end up like this. Because then, I mean, then the chairs can be consistent, but then this entrance is kind of weird. Hmm, this remastering is not as easy as I thought it might be. Or we just ignore it and have the chairs there anyway. And like these ones are slightly closer. Or we just get rid of the back row. Maybe that's just a better option all around. Just have only three rows. Also, no one uses these chairs, so it really doesn't matter. Maybe we just do that. <laughs> so there's only three rows of chairs, more room at the back. That makes more sense. Then we're not wasting like objects, putting a bunch of chairs in. I quite like the moody lighting in here. I feel like, should these not have some sort of curtain on them? Because they're like, maybe, the, I, I'm going to assume in base game and get to work, there wasn't a great choice. Actually, you know what? These would have been all right. Oh, I guess I can't really fit them on, can I? Yeah, it's kind of, uh, yeah, the diagonal is not great for windows. Yeah, what about if I, hang on, let me just put that there. What if we just place them manually? Means I probably have to have it overlap, right? You know what? They don't have to overlap by much, to be honest. Like, that's actually not bad at all. So if I get rid of that and then put it back where it was. And then I think these can be black, right? Yeah. Do I want it to be black? Probably not. That, that's a little dark. Maybe the gray. Yeah, that's all right. Why don't I just do that? Because then at least it looks like there's a blind here. Venue wall speaker. Easy listing. That's kind of a bit random. I'm going to guess I put that in there as like a speaker system for the room, but... Then there's just gonna be music playing in here. I'm gonna get rid of those. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna place the middle one and then I'll place the side ones. That's probably a better way to do it. And then actually I can probably avoid these overlapping at all. Like, because they'll clip into the wall rather than each other. Now, the worst thing about doing this is getting them to align as best you can because you have to hold down Alt and then like do micro movements and then place it and then sometimes it moves after you place it. Come on, baby! Yeah, there you go. Alright, put the window back. Cool, that's a bit better. Oakley dokily. Oh, we have a couple of these lights in here as well. So I'll size those down to the smaller versions. There we go. So that's the downstairs fixed. What is going on here? Oh, I put these shelves inside the counters for some reason, but they glitch <laughs> a lot. You know, a little fix for that is probably just if I slide that a smidge back and then just snap all the counters to that one. Look at that. At least fixes the back sides uh, clipping. It won't fix this side bit, but at least we don't see all that back uh, section clipping. Yeah, that's already better. Yeah, we still see that, but oh, a little bit better overall. All right, what else? What else? I love all these, like, the, like, cell here and then, like, the interrogation, or the, yeah, sort of booking room, and then the interview rooms. This was, this was a lot of fun to build back in the day. We did a huge series on this. All those cells in there. All right, upstairs is a lot. I don't know that there's anything I need to, like, fix unless there's actually, like, broken stuff. Um, quick, this is, like, our evidence room, by the way. That's what that was supposed to be. It's... <laughs> it's the evidence room. Oh, that's right. I think so this is like where you're supposed to go in and this is like the desk where you like check stuff in and out. And then I think the chief was like stealing stuff. I think it was the story because I got a secret door that goes in there. Although it's very obvious on this side, but that's kind of funny. I think the rest of it is, yeah, it's okay. That's a little security office in there. Very nice. Um, I don't think there's any other weird kind of glitchy things I did. Oh, I did have half walls then. Maybe I couldn't place half walls down here at all. Um, or maybe I just didn't want to. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't use half walls, but I'm using them now. I guess a downside to that is we might end up with a bunch of plates on top of those. So that could be an issue. <laughs> Get the, the mess hole in there. It all looks okay. And then the roof. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to fix. I guess I'm going to play test it for a little bit, make sure it works, and I'll check back in. All right, so I've just gone to a crime scene and come back. Uh, which is good because I wanted to load in and load out of the lot because obviously all the prisons were out the front. But it looks like they're now successfully back in the cells over there, which is good, which means that's working. We also have a bunch of people working down in the, the bullpen area, which is good. A bunch of the detectives. The chief looks like they're actually in their office too, which is good. And then, yeah, a few people working in the lab. And there's also someone actually on the front desk too, which this is a front desk. I guess this one is too, uh, but I guess that's like a main one. So, I mean, it seems like it's working. So I have to use a chemical analyzer, which I believe is in the lab. So let's go over here to make sure that all works and I haven't broken anything. 
<laughs> I guess that's one downside of placing those uh, blinds like that, is that you see them and the walls are down. Which is not a huge deal. I mean, again, it's kind of a decorative room anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, that's an interesting way to walk through the uh, <laughs> the conference room, which I guess is not a problem, because otherwise you kind of have to walk all the way around, so it's a little bit shorter. I kind of want to play the detective career now, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. It's, it's fun playing in this lot again. <laughs> I swear it also runs better than when I originally built it. I don't know. I feel like I remember it lagging a lot, or being laggy, but I don't know. Okay, I got a file crime scene evidence on a computer. Let's go. That was actually one thing I did a lot on this lot. I added so many computers because if you don't have enough computers, every NPC sim ever always flocks to computers. So <laughs> I remember, hey, what are you doing there? Um, excuse me, you're not a member of the police staff. Can you please stay on this side of the desk? I don't think there's any way to like specify staff doors or anything. It just is. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, they're off. Oh yes, I get to use all this stuff now. All right. Get criminal's fingerprints at booking station. All right, let's fingerprint one of the uh, inmates. All right, come on then. Let's get those fingerprints done. I mean, everything seems to be working, which is great because I had no idea if this still worked, this lot, but it seems like it's working. Although, hang on, now we're just standing still. I don't know where we're going. Yeah, it seems good. Maybe I should build a new hospital. The hospital is such a lame lot. <laughs> I guess so was the police station. It's also a shame you can't just visit this world like whenever you want, because it's actually quite nice. Like you can actually walk all the way over here, by the way. I don't know if you guys have like, when you do these careers, if you ever actually explore this world, but you can like walk all the way over here through this park and everything. Like all this space, like all down here, all through the middle. And like, it's kind of kind of strange that there's so much space, but you can't like visit this unless you're having a baby or in one of the careers. Um, hang on, where are you going? <laughs> you just left them out of the cell. Right, let me search them, please. And then take a mugshot too. This just turned into a let's, no, 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 what are you doing? Oh no, they're gonna come to, are you gonna come to me? Oh, you, why did you leave that unlocked? Okay, this is Sims 4. This is not the fault of the lot. That's the Sims 4's AI, not, not my fault. <laughs> All right, no, I, I definitely think this works. So hopefully that little guide at the bit. Oh no. Ever since they added curved walls, this starts happening. All right, we've got another little fix to make. That's actually not hard to fix. It is annoying, but it should be okay. Just to make sure there's nothing else. Um, all right. So you jump, well, I gotta do the cheat again. Jump into build mode. Now the problem is the floor tiles are like, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, the floor, see the floor tile is like, sort of flying up the side of it. If I just get rid of the floor tiles, right? It's in there somewhere, hang on, there it is. Nope, that's a different one. I say it's easy to fix, but it's trying to trying to get to the top. If I drag it, it might be able to get it. Yeah, there you go. And I'll do the same with the side of drag. Now, I don't know if, if I put it back, will it do the same thing? No, see, it doesn't even like fill that spot. It's kind of, it's a, it's a little bizarre. Like you can paint it in there, but then it like goes up. So it's not ideal. A better way to do this if you're on terrain is to use terrain paint instead of the tiles. And what if I even just get rid of this section of tiles? Cause I mean, I don't really need them there. And just, we can have that still, the sign still on it and then just leave that as grass. I mean, I guess it doesn't look as neat per se, but you know, like it looks better than glitchy tiles going up. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna share this to the gallery. It's just gonna be called Cop Shop Updated. I'll link it in the description down below so you can get it there. Otherwise it's on my gallery, James Turner YT, so you'll be able to find it there. Uh, and I try to hopefully make the instructions as clear as possible. So, but guaranteed there'll still be comments here saying they don't know how to do it. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, so that's there, let's post it. So yeah, there it is on the gallery. Um, only users get to work still, so all you need is the expansion pack, which is great. And then you can just place it in there. But there you go, just a simple little video today. I, I wanted to fix up this build because I knew that that was an issue, like the foundation stuff was all kind of weird and glitchy. So I really wanted to fix that. If there's any other old builds of mine that you'd like to see me sort of update and fix up or use new game features that have been added since we built them. Like I think like the mountain house and stuff that I built way back that I used like rocks that I scaled up to make a hill. We could maybe turn that into actual terrain. That could be kind of fun. You know, stuff like that. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.